fire accidents are most common and dangerous. They cause injuries, deaths, equipment damage and huge property loss. How fire forms? What are the different types of fire? How can we control workplace fire accidents? We will discuss all these points in this video. Welcome to my channel Health and Safety Training Tutorials Principles of Fire Fire is a chemical reaction between three elements heat, fuel and oxygen. Without any of these elements, fire cannot take place. For example, if heat and fuel are present, fire cannot take place without oxygen. If heat and oxygen are present, fire cannot take place without fuel. If fuel and oxygen are present, fire cannot take place without heat. Therefore, chemical reaction between these three elements are compulsory to form a fire. Now, we look into classifications of fire. According to the NFPS standards, the fire classifications are as follows. Class A fires Solid, combustible and organic materials come under Class A fires. Paper, wood, coal, plastic and textiles are the examples. Class B fires Flammable chemicals and gases come under Class B fires. Chemicals like gasoline, oil, grease, asphalt and paints. Also, gases like methane, propane, acetylene and H2S are considered as Class B fires. Class C fires. These are related to electricity. Fires caused by the faulty electrical equipment and damaged electrical appliances come under Class C fires. Class D fires. Combustible metals come under this classification such as magnesium, sodium and lithium. Class K fires Cooking related materials such as oils and fats come under this classification. Heat transmission and fire spread Heat can be transmitted in four different ways. Number 1. Direct burning A flame front moves through the burning material. For example, this happens when setting fire to the corner of a piece of paper with a match. Think of how the flame front moves from the match and spreads across the paper. This process is called direct burning. Number 2. Convection Heat transmits through the air and sucks the cool air in the surroundings, raises the temperature and causes the fire. For example, fire at the basement level will slowly heat the temperature in the surrounded air and that heated air slowly travels to the next floor and ignites the fire. This process is called convection. Number 3. Conduction Heat can be transmitted through solid metals. Some metals like copper conducts the heat very efficiently. For example, look at the water boiling process on the gas stove. Once flame is set, that metal object gets heated slowly and transfers the heat from bottom to top level equally. This process is called conduction. Number 4. Radiation Heat energy can be radiated through air in the form of invisible infrared heat waves. Example, heat from the sun reaches to the earth in the form of invisible infrared heat waves and causes heat. This process is called radiation. Now, workplace fire hazards. Arson The criminal act of deliberately setting fire to property. To take revenge on a company or a person, people willfully set a fire to their property. Sometimes, people fire their own assets to claim insurance in an illegal way. Hot works These works associated with naked flames, sparks such as welding, cutting and grinding which can lead to fire accidents. Electrical equipment Faulty and damaged electrical equipment can cause ignitions and sparks that may lead to fires with the source of fuel around it. Smoking materials In particular, carelessly discarded smoking materials such as cigarette birds and matches lead to the fire accidents. Cooking appliances Cooking oils, fats and pans left unattended on fire can cause fire accidents. Heating appliances 
example electrical fan heaters and space heaters especially when left unattended mechanical heat generated by friction between moving parts such as a motor and its bearings chemical reactions can also generate heat for example rags soaked in oil and solvents are a fire hazard because as the oil or solvents oxidize heat is generated and there is a risk of spontaneous combustion outcomes of a fire outbreak explosions burns and injuries deaths preventing fire and its spread as we discussed earlier we can prevent the fire by breaking the chemical reaction between the source of heat fuel and oxygen controlling source of heat anything that generates source of heat must be controlled cigarette lighters and discarded cigarette butts must be disposed in designated waste bins in order to avoid the arson all workers must go through safe behavior training any work that is related to fire flames sparks and heat shall be strictly monitored and safe system of work should be followed damaged and faulty electrical equipment must be removed all chemicals must be stored in a cosh container with proper safety precautions mechanical heat can be controlled by proper maintenance and inspection before the usage heating appliances must not be allowed into site usage of cooking oils and fats must be avoided in the working site controlling source of fuel all combustible and flammable materials must be removed or limited chemical storage should have the following precautions separate storage area compartmentation labeling for chemicals spill trace burn wall proper ventilation fire fighting equipment such as fire extinguishers smoke detectors fire hoses and water sprinklers safety signages and barricading to be also provided solid combustible materials such as wood paper cotton and plastic must be disposed from the site or covered by the fire blanket controlling source of oxygen oxygen level should not be exceeding 19.5 percentage in the atmosphere oxygen cylinders must be stored with good safety precautions if any activity that generates oxygen must follow the full safety precautions risk assessment shall be done for working site to identify all the hazards good housekeeping standards must be maintained so this is all about fire safety part 1 we will discuss about fire fighting equipment and fire evacuation in the next video if you like this video please like and share to everyone for more health and safety videos subscribe my channel